22 million people are behind bars in the USA right now. In fact, the land of the free has the world's highest incarceration rate. Back in the day, America's worst prisoners like Al Capone would be sent to Alcatraz. Alcatraz was an island prison which was inescapable, but in 1963 it was shut down. What replaced it though? Well, America's new toughest prison is known as ADX Florence. The prison is terrifying, but what's even scarier is who's inside. I'm Charlie and today we're going to look at who's kept in America's scariest prison. But before we get locked up, why not subscribe and press the notification bell too. Coming up first is Robert Hansen. Robert Hansen is not your run-of-the-mill criminal. In fact, he's a former FBI agent. From 1979 to 2001, he did espionage for the Soviet Union and later Russia. That's right, this guy was a double agent for 20 years. Robert Hansen has been regarded as the worst intelligence disaster in US history. During his time as a double agent, he betrayed dozens of US agents. Many of them actually lost their lives specifically due to what Robert had given to the Soviets and Russia. Right now, he's serving 15 consecutive life sentences behind bars at ADX Florence. Over the 20 year period he was a double agent, Russia paid him more than $1.5 million in cash and diamonds. He would drop off classified materials at a park near his home in Virginia, USA. Eventually, the FBI and CIA caught on and began monitoring his every move. Eventually, they caught him selling thousands of documents about US strategies and classified nuclear developments. Next up is Theodore Kaczynski. You may not know this guy by his real name, but I'm sure you know his pseudonym, the Unabomber. This man is a former mathematics professor and also a math genius. In 1969, he abandoned his academic career and began living in the woods. He then published what's known as the Unabomber Manifesto. He called for everyone to send lots of explosive devices in the mail, and that's exactly what he did. In fact, he carried out 16 bombings from 1978 to 1999. He would put these in packages and use the US mail service to deliver them. Now, these 16 devices only took 3 lives and injured 23 people. But because he was living in the woods all by himself, the FBI had a tough time finding him. Eventually, on the 3rd of April 1996, FBI raided his cabin after they located it. But you're probably wondering, what caused this guy to go crazy? Well, he was actually part of MKUltra, which was a CIA research into mind control. The CIA psychologically destroyed this man, and that's what led him to be so crazy. He actually spent over 200 hours as part of the study. But right now, he's in ADX Florence, serving 8 life sentences. Next up is Harold Nicholson. Harold Nicholson is a former CIA officer, and he's actually the highest ranking CIA officer to ever be convicted of espionage. For two years, he passed lots of classified information to Russia. It seems he actually only did it for small amounts of money, around $12,000. The FBI suspected him, and he failed three polygraph tests. He was told he passed them all, but was then secretly put under surveillance by the FBI. The FBI watched his travels when he went to Thailand, Malaysia, and Singapore. And during his time in Singapore, they saw him go to the Russian embassy and drop off a package. Right now, he's serving a 23-year sentence at ADX Florence. And he is set to be released on the 27th of June, 2024. It's not often you see anyone actually get out of ADX Florence. Next up is Glendon Scott Crawford. If I told you about a mad scientist making a giant x-ray machine, you'd assume it was science fiction. Well, I suppose you haven't heard of Glendon Scott Crawford. This man was a member of the Klan in the United States. But in 2009, he was sentenced to 30 years in ADX Florence. You see, he was in the process of building a gigantic x-ray machine. This would be enough to spew lethal doses of radiation and take out many people from a distance. His plan was to put this giant machine inside a truck or a van. He was then going to park it outside areas where there were minority groups and use it to take out many lives. He even wanted to drive it to the White House and take out then-President Barack Obama. But he is set to be released in 2039. But he'll be a very elderly man by then, so don't worry about him making another x-ray machine. Next up is Joaquim Guzman. 
If you thought Joaquin Phoenix was scary in the Joker movie, then get ready to hear about this guy. You may not know the name Joaquin Arcavaldo Guzman Loera, but I'm sure you do know his nickname El Chapo, meaning shorty in Spanish. He is the Mexican billionaire and former leader of the Sinaloa cartel. He's been arrested many times, but his biggest arrest came in 2017. After he escaped many times from Mexican prisons, including once tunneling his way out, he was taken to the USA. He was extradited to the US in January of 2017. He was charged with narco trafficking, money laundering, and taking lives. But it wasn't until February of this year, 2019, when he was found guilty on all counts. And it was decided on the 17th of July 2019 that he would go to ADX Florence for life. He was actually sentenced to life in prison plus 30 years. Now, he's known for escaping from prisons, but no one has ever escaped ADX Florence. But now his compadre El Mayo has taken over the Sinaloa cartel, so don't expect that crime to stop anytime soon. Next up is James Marcello. You've probably heard stories of Chicago mobsters. Well, no one is more quintessential than James Marcello. He was the front boss of a Chicago mob. He's better known by his nickname Little Jimmy as he's quite short in height. But just because he's short doesn't mean he's not scary. He became a made member of the Chicago mob in 1983. Being a made member is basically the highest rank in the mob. It requires you to be 100% Italian and have taken at least one life. Unbeknownst to James's mob bosses, his mother was actually Irish. But nevertheless, this was one scary guy. But right now, this Italian-American mob boss is serving life behind bars in ADX Florence. Next up is Noshir Gawadia. This man is a former employee for the US Department of Defense. In fact, he was an engineer and one of the main designers for the B2B stealth bomber. You know those scary sci-fi looking black triangles in the sky? Well, this guy was actually the main designer for those. They cost $250 million each and are said to be some of the USA's favorite toys. So why on earth would they put him in America's scariest prison? Well, in 2011, he was convicted for selling information to China. Apparently, he began giving China classified information to help them build cruise missiles. He also laundered the money that China paid him. But it's thanks to him that China now has stealth technology missiles. For this, he was sentenced to 32 years behind bars. And he's scheduled for release on the 12th of September 2033. And finally, we have Nasser Jason Abdo. Nasser was a US Army private. He's from Texas and in 2010, he was training at Fort Campbell in Kentucky, USA. In June of 2010, he was set to be deployed to Afghanistan, but instead he refused to go and went AWOL. This means he basically deserted the military base and no one knew where he was. Later, he planned to use a weapon of mass destruction to take out a restaurant where many soldiers were dining. Luckily, the person he bought the materials from found it suspicious and called the police. They then tracked him down and arrested him just before he could carry out this terrible deed. He was then sentenced to two life sentences plus 60 years. But now it's time to make your voice heard. Vote in the poll in the top right corner for the scariest inmate in ADX Florence. I think it might be the guy who made the X-Ray machine, Glendon Scott Crawford. If you guys want some more amazing videos, check out my second channel. There'll be a link to that on screen in a moment, and it's nearly at 100,000 subscribers. But as always, thanks for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.